Dear Tov, good morning. How is the process going for you? Are you finding the ability to celebrate Anila Dodi Vidodili? I am my beloved and my beloved is mine. How are you finding time to love yourself, to love others, to love God? I have some ideas for you today. Two of them that I learned this summer. The first, a wonderful idea that instead of beating one's chest, when one says the al Shechatanu, when we're doing the whole litany of things that we missed the mark on this past year, perhaps instead of beating one's chest, we can instead just put a gentle hand on one's chest, sort of as you would do for a pet or a child, especially a baby, as you're rocking them. And as we do this, we can rock and we can gently tap ourselves to say, okay, I missed the mark. I know I can do better and I'm still worthy and I'm still a loving human being and I can do better. Instead of tearing ourselves apart, treating ourselves like a rag. Second idea, and this one's even more radical perhaps during this time of Elul. So I share with you this one by Arye Ben David. He says, we need to change our habits. We need to find the beauty and worthiness of ourselves. We have a spark and we do glow. God invited each of us to dance at this world's party. So let's try something new. Let's be bold and courageous and chutzpahdik and vulnerable. Let's ask a friend a few questions. What do you think is special about me? What are my good traits? Can you tell me how I have helped you during the past year? And then have the friend ask you the same questions. Now, I look forward to reading your responses on Padlet today to this prompt. I hope you get some wonderful messages of love. I hope you're also able to share some wonderful messages of love with your friends, with your family, with whomever you do this exercise with. May it bring you joy. May it bring you peace. And I wish everyone an early Shabbat Shalom. Lehitraot.